An alcohol is a molecule that has an oxygen atom with one hydrogen on it and also a carbon atom. And the carbon atom has other bonds. It doesn't really matter what they are. All of these molecules are examples of alcohols. They all have that oxygen hydrogen bonded to a carbon atom. That's the functional group that we call an alcohol. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to name alcohols. And I'm assuming that you already know some basic nomenclature of organic molecules, like knowing how to name alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes, knowing things like finding the longest carbon chain and numbering the carbon chain, and just general stuff like that. Let's take a look at our first example. First job always is to find the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms. This molecule has a chain of five carbon atoms. And we want to number that carbon chain starting at the end that is closest to the alcohol group, the OH. Um, this molecule doesn't have any substituents on it or branches, so we don't have any other naming that we need to do. We can just jump right straight into the name. Just like an alkene or an alkyne, we want to start by locating the position of the alcohol. It is on carbon number two. And then we are going to name the parent chain based on the number of carbon atoms. Five carbon atoms, if it was an alkane, would be a pentane. So this is kind of like a pentane, but instead of saying pentane, we're going to change the ending to all. We do keep the ane part because the ane is communicating that there are single bonds between all the carbon atoms. So we, all we're dropping is the E from pentane and we're replacing it with OL, pentanol, because it is an alcohol. This molecule's name is 2-pentanol. Now let's actually skip ahead to this last one that I have here. We're going to do this one, the very last. So this one, we're going to find our longest carbon chain. There are five carbons, and it's a cyclic molecule. So this is based off of a cyclopentane. When we number the carbon chain of a ring, we get to choose which carbon atom is going to be carbon number one. And we've got two choices here, like for our number one carbon atom, maybe we want it to be the carbon with the bromine, maybe we want it to be the carbon with the alcohol. Kind of like alkanes and alkynes, we want to give priority to the alcohol. So that means that our carbon number one needs to be the carbon that has the OH on it, because again, it's our priority. Once we've decided that this is carbon number one, then we have to make a choice about whether we number the ring clockwise or counterclockwise, and we want to make that decision based on the position of the bromine. Since we've taken care of giving the, giving the alcohol the lowest possible number, our next job is to give the bromine the next lowest possible number. If we go clockwise, bromine would be located on carbon number four. If we go counterclockwise, bromine will be located on carbon number three. And three is better than four, so let's go counterclockwise so our bromine is on carbon number three. Because we have a substituent here, we're going to start the name of the molecule by locating and naming our substituent. That's a bromine on carbon number three, which we call three bromo. And then we have to name the actual molecule itself. Don't forget we have to identify the location of the alcohol. It's on carbon number one. And then we say cyclopentane, but we drop the E. So it's cyclopentanol, three bromo, one cyclopentanol. Here's our last example, and this one is, is so simple that it's kind of tricky. Our first job always is to find the longest carbon chain, but there's only one carbon atom in this molecule. It's not really that much of a chain. Our second job is to number the carbon chain, but again, there's only one carbon atom in the molecule, so it kind of doesn't make sense to number the carbon chain. A one carbon alkane would be called methane. Methane, we're gonna drop the E off the ending of it and just say methanol. Do we say one methanol? Does the one make sense? Um, in this situation, we don't locate the, the OH group. We don't say that it's on carbon number one because there's literally nowhere else for it to be. There's only one carbon atom, and so it has to be on carbon number one. So this molecule's name is just methanol.